Even if the much-anticipated Tesla Roadster has been delayed to 2022, that doesn't mean there aren't any other electric vehicles worth waiting for this year. In fact, there are a number of 300 plus miles of range cars out there that are worth checking out. So stick around until the end of this video to find out what are the longest range EVs you can buy in 2021. Presuming every party involved keeps their word and actually starts production and deliveries until December. First up with an estimated range of over 520 miles, the newly introduced Tesla Model S Plaid Plus. According to the official order page, the insanely hyped electric car will see deliveries start somewhere around the end of 2021, assuming it won't be bumped to next year. But if you're patient enough and have the cash for it, it's 140 grand to begin with, you'll get a triple motor setup that develops over 1100 horsepower torque vectoring, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of under 2 seconds, and that range of over 520 miles. If you're not in the mood to wait until the end of the year, Tesla will happily sell you a Model S long range that starts at $80,000 and gets you a range of 412 miles on a single charge. Sure, it's not an intergalactic spaceship like the Plaid Plus, but dual motor all-wheel drive and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.1 seconds don't sound too bad, right? Number two on the list is the Lucid Air, which promises a maximum range of 517 miles and a production start in spring of 2021. And unlike other electric car brands that were pretty much vaporware, Lucid has an actual factory that seems to be doing car factory stuff. Prices start somewhere around $74,000 for the base model with 406 miles of range and 480 horsepower, but you can order a model that theoretically offers 517 miles of range and 800 horsepower for $131,000. Well, that escalated quickly. There's even a $161,000 variant with 503 miles of range and a whopping 1,080 horsepower. For this kind of money, the interior looks amazing, but that's just my opinion. We'll just have to wait and see how the final product looks and feels. Next up, it's another Tesla. And spoiler alert, there's another Tesla coming right after this one too. But right now, let's focus on the big Model X long range. The 2021 model gets 361 miles of range according to Tesla's official website and is the cheapest version of the electric SUV starting at $90,000. Like with the Model S long range, the Model X long range gets a dual motor all-wheel drive setup but Unlike the Model S, it needs 3.8 seconds to get to 60 miles per hour. Not slow, but slower. Order now and the estimated delivery date is sometime around May to June of 2021. Not bad. In at number 4, it's the Tesla Model 3 Long Range. See? I told you there was another one. The smallest and arguably best daily Tesla makes right now starts at $37,000 for the base standard range plus with 263 miles of range per charge. But upgrade to the long range version for $46,000 and you get 353 miles of juice as well as dual motor all wheel drive that can propel the electric car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4 0.2 seconds and on to a top speed of 145 miles per hour. In at number 5, it's the all-new Hummer EV pickup, which is slated to be delivered starting fall of 2021. Well, the most expensive Edition 1 version at least, which starts at $113,000. This all-new electric pickup from General Motors will get you three motors with a total output of 1000 horsepower 
and an eye-watering 11,500 pound-feet of torque. Also, 0 to 60 takes approximately 3 seconds and the estimated maximum range is over 350 miles. Moreover, GM is hyping its awesome off-road features. It is a Hummer after all, and that 800 volt DC fast charging feature sure sounds nice with its 100 miles of range in 10 minutes and all. But wait, there's yet another Tesla in here. Time for a small confession. Even though I rarely agree with Elon Musk and his questionable tactics of overhyping a product, I have to give it to him that range-wise at least his company's cars are among the best on the market. And this little list here is proof. Okay, so the number 6 spot goes to the Tesla Model Y long range, which starts at $49,000 and has a maximum estimated range of 326 miles. This slightly bigger brother to the Model 3 can also accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds and has a top speed of 135 miles per hour. It can seat 5 or 7 people inside, depending on what you order, and it has dual mode motor all-wheel drive. Just like the Model 3, it's a solid daily driver with enough range for most trips. Next up, it's the Rivian R1S and R1T. The R1S is an SUV, while the R1T is a, you guessed it, pickup truck. Both models are slated to get delivered starting in the middle of 2021 with a maximum estimated range of 300 miles, but there is a larger 400 plus miles variant in the works which should get to customers starting in 2022. Built as electric adventure vehicles, both models start at around $70,000 with the pickup priced lower than the SUV. This amount of money gets you a quad motor layout, air suspension, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of around 3 seconds and a towing capacity of over 11,000 pounds, plus an interior that looks really nice. At number 8, it's the highly controversial Ford Mustang Mach-E. With an estimated range of 300 miles for the extended range, rear-wheel drive versions of the California Route 1 and premium trim levels, the Mach-E can hold its own with the rest of the cars on this list, barely. The premium starts at 47 grand and the California Route 1 goes from 50,000 dollars but you have to add five grand to that if you want the extended range battery. With this setup the car accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds which is not that great compared to the other cars on this list especially the Tesla Model Y but then again you don't have to smash the throttle every time you get going. 6 seconds is still good for a heavy car and the price is comparable to the Model Y from Tesla. And last but not least, it's the new Nissan Aria which should get to customers at the end of 2021 as a 2022 model. There's no official rating yet for this electric crossover but Nissan estimates a maximum of 300 miles for its long range front-wheel drive version. There's also no price in sight for the Aria yet, but seeing how the Leaf goes from 31 grand, it's safe to assume that the new Japanese electric crossover will start at around $40,000. And that's it! Let me know in the comments what new EV you're planning to buy in 2021, or at least which one is your favorite. I know mine is the Rivian R1S. I just love how that thing looks. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.